In the late 1980s, a Brazilian distributor sent a letter to the CEOs of 10 retailers to benchmark the advanced U.S. retail business. Most companies that had little interest in South American distributors did not respond to the request. However, Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, was the exception. He called Brazilian businessmen to Arkansas and stayed with them for a few days. But what's interesting is that Brazilian distributors came to benchmark Walmart's style, and instead Walton asked Brazilians more. Walton asked in great detail what business environment Brazil has, what characteristics of distribution in Latin America, and so on. Later, Brazilian distributors realized that Walton was learning thoroughly about Brazil's retail business during their visit to Walmart. Benchmarking is about learning the best practices of a company that is performing well and making them what they are. Benchmarking is a very useful tool in that it reduces the probability of failure and allows you to get things moving fast. Many managers enjoyed benchmarking, and among them, Tadashi Yanai, president of Uniqlo, is well known for his benchmarking skills. When asked, What do you want to do right now? To him, he replied, I want to learn management system at Walmart, standardization at McDonald's, product development at Rubbermaid, quality control at Max and Spencer, information system at 7-Eleven, talent education at Home Depot, and future development skills at Microsoft. Endless curiosity and learning attitude are one of the common characteristics of outstanding leaders. Don't stop learning. A competent leader is always a learner.